Hey, this is Chris from Tech Magnet, and in this video, I want to introduce the amazing web services from Gcore. They are a public leader in global cloud services, content delivery, hosting, and security for all sorts of businesses. If you're interested already, then check out the links in the description. I will list and link the best deals for you. So let's talk about the products that set Gcore apart from their competitors. So whether you will be using a virtual instance, bare metal, or any other PaaS service from Gcore, they will greatly reduce the time to market. And that means you can immediately start up your webshop, for example, or any other services for that matter. Although the service that is best suited for this is cloud by gcore and with this you can completely focus on the business tasks while gcore takes care of the infrastructure for you and that is so that you can be more productive and worry less about technicalities the second feature is that you can run and deliver services all around the globe with lowest latency and highest scalability gcore labs global coverage as you can see allows for 20 for a 20 to 30 millisecond response time and that is really fast. In some regions it is even as low as 3 to 5 milliseconds and that is absolutely mind-blowing. Yeah so check it out they have servers all around the globe and that's why they're so fast. The closer you are to a server the faster the response time will be and that goes also for your customers so you definitely need servers all around the globe and they got it the third great feature is that you can deploy and scale and also lower your it costs with several platform services for example we have managed kubernetes centralized logging and similar functionalities fourthly what's also great is that their services or rather their hardware is based on the latest generations of Intel processors, including scalable third generation Intel Xeon Ice Lake CPUs. So in other words, if you don't want to worry about all the behind the scenes stuff and just focus on your work and just focus on creating your website, then you can completely rely on their modern cloud technology platform for a faster rollout of your applications and IT projects. What's more, the cloud service is also fully integrated with all other services and all the other Gcore Labs products. So you will get all the features and all the services in just one platform, including CDN, DDoS protection, DNS, storage, streaming, all sorts of other security measurements and many, many more things. All you ever need in one place, simple, fast and easy. Yeah, and lastly, let me show you the backend briefly. So let's click on login. And after you logged in, this is what the backend looks like. So first of all, let me show you around and then I will show you how to create a virtual machine. So when you click on the big G, you will get to the dashboard. Here you can see the reports and also the billing statistics, but let's hide this. There is no data available, but this is the place where to check the total traffic. Also all the information about your cloud. And down here you can also connect other services. Let's check out the CDN. So right here you can create one and you can switch between CDN resources, origins groups, SSL certificates, prefetch logs, reports and the roadmap. Absolutely amazing service. Let's go back. Also, here is an overview about the resources. Next, we have cloud. So here we can see the projects, the quotas right there. You can check the request history. You can check the customer reports, all sorts of tasks, user actions. And also there is a roadmap for the cloud services too. So they always keep on improving their services. Next, let's check out streaming. Streaming is not activated, but you can start a trial right here. This is made for low latency live streaming for video hosting, also for group calls, webinars. You can also use this for computer vision and machine machine learning and also you can broadcast this for 1 million viewers simultaneously. Next we have web protection, same here. It's not active yet, but you can start a free trial anytime. We get L3, L4 and L7 DDoS attack protection. We get protections against malicious botnets, parsing and brute force attacks. Also, of course, a firewall for hacking protection and monitoring. And you will get a guaranteed availability of your web resources. Next, let's check out storage. Same here. You can activate it anytime. Many locations, many protocols supported. You can easily connect to the storage, flexible synchronizations and pay as you go. And lastly, we have the DNS services, fast DNS hosting right here. With this, you can furthermore boost your performance well of your web resources and you can also host your domains so you can route it you can configure your dns balancing ttl within 20 seconds and also wildcard support if you need help just click on the help button you can write the support you can also call the support and there are also tickets available and also a knowledge base apy documentation everything that you need to know so of course check it out first but if you have further questions 
There is a support, of course. And then lastly, if you click down here on your user, you can check out your information and you can log out. So let's go back to the dashboard. So this was the backend overview. And now let's create a virtual machine. For this, let's click on cloud. I've already played around a bit. So before we can create a new project, I will have to delete my old one. So let's delete this project. So either you can create a new project right here, give it a name, for example, test machine and a description. Or also if you have an existing project like this one right here, you can just click on settings. This is the place where you can rename it. For example, test machine, save changes. And you can also give users access or remove access. Right, let's go back. So this is now named test machine and you can click here, open, or just click on it, and then you will open this instance. Or actually, there is no instance yet, so it's time to add your first one. And to build your first instance, we need to choose an appropriate image, and it's super easy to do, so let's do it. So right here we can select a region. Actually, let's pick Germany, because I'm in Austria. Wonderful. Down here we can choose an image. Let's go for Windows, and we'll pick server 2022. Or you can also choose a marketplace, a volume, a snapshot or custom images. And there are many, many marketplaces that you can choose from, but let's go for this. And then here we can pick the type. And I forgot to mention for every tab, for every section, there is an I and you can find out more if you hover over this I. So this virtual machine will be run in Frankfurt, Germany. Then you can pick the type. So you can choose either shared, standard, CPU optimized, RAM optimized. You can pick high frequency, SGX, GPU, and GPU HF, and this is what it looks like. Then here we have the volumes, and right here you can add volumes. Then down here we have the network settings. Here you can create a floating IP address. Then we have the firewall settings. Right here you can give access to users. Lastly, we have additional options. And you can choose how many instances you actually want. And when you're done, you can click on create instance right here. Forgot to pick this one, so. There we go. And lastly, we need to give it a name, test machine. So if you're interested in any of these products, in any of the G-Core products, then check out the description. I will list and link the best deals for you. And before you go, smash that like button, then subscribe, ring the bell and click all to never miss amazing tech magnet videos. That's it for this one. Enjoy the rest of your day and I will see you soon.